Welcome back to the Gujarati Chess Job. As you know, the COVID-19 is uh, all over the world. So please, be safe, wear a mask and take some quick system. Now today, I will explain elephant defense. How to beat the elephant defense? There is a exchange variation in my hand. Elephant defense. Elephant is a well-known player, and he was playing his first move from knight f6. If you play e4, if you play d4, always elephant mostly play knight f6. So this is elephant defense. So let's start with winning with e4 against Alekhine defense. When you play e4, black plays knight f6 and e5. This is a most probably move for white. e5 is an early attack, but against Alekhine defense, you should early attack. In this game, black is inviting white to gain time by attacking his knight with a pawns after few moves white will get a strong center in the chess game i recommending the exchange variation against alekhine defense what is the exchange variation let's start with exchange variation so first in the game, white plays e4, black plays e, knight f6, and our second move is e5. Here is starting e4 and f6, e5, knight d5. This is a most common move for Alekai. Knight e4 is a not a very smart move. Knight e4 is a dubious move. So black like knight d5. After knight d5, white should play here c4 and wasted of black's move. After c4, black will move to knight b6. And now d4 with a strong pawn center. After d4, black will move his pawn to d6. For exchange the center, e takes d6. This is my favorite move. After e takes d6, now black has a choice. e takes d6 or c takes d6. Let's see e takes d6. Why should play here knight c3? Bishop e7. Planning for short castling. Okay, knight c6 is a not very smart move from here. After knight c6, you can simply attack on the knight and again you can get a strong pawn structure on the center. So Black will play here bishop e7 instead of knight c6 for planning in the sword castle. Now white can attack of black early playing knight c6. Okay, knight c3 bishop e7. Now let's see against knight c6 what should you do after black play knight c6. White can simply knight f3. Black will play bishop g4. Bishop e2. Bishop e7. And d5. Black take your knight. Bishop takes. Simply you can take the bishop. Knight e5, centralize and attack your pawn. C6, 
simply defined by Bishop. Black cannot take this pawn because of if knight takes and after queen a4, black will lose his knight. So this is our variation. Again, I repeat e4, knight f6, e5, knight e5, c4, and b6, and d4. After d6, he takes, he takes d6, and knight c3. We already seen the variation of knight c6. Now, come on, the main point should be sub e7. After bishop e7, why should play here bishop to d3? Now, black plays knight c6. And g2 by white, black short castle, white also short castle here, after bishop f6, white will simply defend by bishop e3, black pinning your knight to bishop g4, s3, Bishop h5 and queen d2 after bishop g6. White should play here b3. Simple, defend your pawn, sir. After b3, black will take your bishop and you can take by queen. Queen d3. Black moves d5 is pawn. After d5, simply white c5. And once again, another aggressive attack for white. So, this is a main line, and as you can see, white has a very, very, very poor structure, good structure with a pawn center and queen on d3, bishop on e3. Knight on e2 and other knight on c3, whilst all pieces are de fully developed. Let's see one of the variation in fifth move. Black plays c takes d6. What should you do after c takes d6? e4, knight f6, e5, knight d5, c4, knight b6. And d4 after d6, pawn takes pawn, and now black is changing his move by c takes d6. This is not a very smart move. Now knight c3 playing by white, g6 followed by bishop g7. After g6, White should simply move here, bishop to e3, defend your d4 pawn. Black will try to develop his bishop on g7, pn set to bishop, and black want to short castle. After bg7, rook c1 on a half open file. After rook c1, black will do castle. Castle here. White should play here b3 because of bishop is guarding the c4 square, so white want to free up his bishop. After b3, black will play knight c6 here, and you can play d5, and both if bishop takes knight, is simply guarded by this rook. So after d5, Black will play knight to e5, centralize his knight. Bishop e2, top the knight on e4. 
So bishop e2, black will play here f5 for push up your bishop. f5, stop this pawn also by moving your pawn to f4. After f4, black will try to open your f5 by moving it to knight on g4. Bishop takes knight and pawn takes and then this file will be open for black. So knight d4. Now bishop d4 exchange your bishop with the opponent strong bishop on p and to So bishop g7 is a defensive bishop for black. After bishop d4, black will play stop your bishop to e5. Now e5 d takes e6 and person after d takes e6 black will take your pawn to bishop to e6 white should play here knight f3 after knight f3 rook to e8 attack on your centralized king so after rook e8 no worry about it simply takes the opponent's bishop Bishop takes g7, king takes g7, and then you can simply castle your king side. So, with an aggressive attacking position in this position, in this variation, white will get a very very strong attack. So, this is a Alekhine defense against how to play against Alekhine defense. One more variation for you in the uh, fifth move, d e takes d6. Okay, let's start. Now, e4, white plays, black plays, knight f6. You can simply attack on knight, knight to d5, and again attack by your pawn to knight to b6 and centralize your pawn to d5. Now, black will try to exchange the center, take your pawn, and opponent will take e takes d6. After e takes d6, you can simply play here knight c3 and in deep thinking, I will show you what about the knight c6 now. In the knight c6, is a question mark, not a very smart move by black. So knight c6, knight f3 played by white. Black will pin your knight by bishop for taking advantage of knight takes d4. If you takes by queen, then black will simply win your pawn. So black want to plus your pawn. So after bg4, simply unpin your knight by bishop e2. After bishop e7, play your pawn to d5. And bishop takes f3. Now, bishop takes f3. And black will play his knight to e5. No worry about it. As you can see, if knight takes, then you will win a piece. So, after knight e5, bishop e2, and black will do castle. After bishop e2, black will do castle here. And now you can simply shape your pawn by moving your b3 pawn. After b3, black will accelerate attack by moving his bishop to f6. Okay, there is no problem. You can play bishop to b2 and promote a discovered attack with an x-ray attack. So bishop b2, black will play a5 and attack your own is a5. Black want to open our a5. So after a5, simply do castle early as possible. After castling, re8 playing by black. Queen d2. And white has a small but secure advantage in this position because the bishop is guarding by the queen. And if a black plays here, bishop f4, you can simply against the four and winning the piece. So, this is our main uh, variation in the Alekhine defense. I think you will, you will like this video. And please like, share, and subscribe also. And as you can share it, please. Thank you very much. Okay, okay guys. Take care and goodbye. Jai.